I'll take Atlanta over any of those other areas, honestly, not only for our smart minds, but our weather as well. We've got a few more clouds in the air than we did a little while ago, but it is still a near perfect day across the metro for now. Mm. First Southern meteorologist Patrick Pete hit me with that because mm, he knows what's coming. Patrick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chance for some rain and some thunderstorms in the cards for the day tomorrow. A lot of folks may be wondering why is there no first alert weather day. We don't think this is going to be that impactful. We okay, think it's going to be so isolated and it's going to happen during a time of the day where most of you will either already be at work or you will be at school or you will be at home. Uh, so no worries there. But there is a chance for some pop ups. There's definitely going to be some energy around. Not a whole lot of forcing. I'll show you what I mean by that. Trending drier for your Thursday sunshine and warming numbers and then rain chances return as we head towards Friday and then again on Sunday. Good news. We've been watching Saturday very closely in that forecast over the last 12 to 24 hours has trended a little bit drier. So good news for all of your outdoor Saturday plans. 82 degrees right now here in Atlanta. Nice breeze out of the south southwest at 11. It actually feels pretty good out there. A little warm, you know, but if you can find a nice tree to get under, you know, block some of those sun rays. Not a bad afternoon to do so. The numbers are going to hang out in the 80s through about 6 o'clock and then we'll start to trend a little bit cooler up with clouds building in and south winds. Uh, that means that we're only going to fall into the 60s tonight. So very mild for the start of the day tomorrow. Expecting clouds to stick around and then as that system pushes through the area, a couple of pop up showers and storms are going to fire up. Level one out of five risk for areas uh, pretty much along the I-85 corridor and points to the north and west. That's where we're going to have the best chance of seeing some of that damaging wind gusts will be our primary concern with any of these storms that tap into that energy, uh, but also some small hail not completely out of the question. Here's how we get through the day on Wednesday. Cloudy skies by around lunchtime. You can already start to see that line of showers and thunderstorms pushing through Huntsville. Notice how you see the deeper reds, the oranges, the yellows. We're still going to see a little bit of that, but it just will not be as energetic as it moves our way. So that line will be gradually weakening, but we still expect some of that to make its way into the area through the afternoon. Eventually, we will trend a little bit drier on the back end and we'll start to see those rain chances drop as we head into the evening. So the morning commute will be unimpacted. Mid 60s for that drive as we head into the afternoon. Lunch breaks looking pretty good, but we'll start to add those rain chances in for the early afternoon. Can't rule out a hit or miss shower or rumble during that evening commute. But once again, this is going to be something that's very isolated. A good way to know where it is is to have that first alert weather app on your phone. You can see real time radar and see where those showers and storms are. You can see this is not going to be a big production. Everybody not going to get rain out of this system. We are expecting uh, a roughly a tenth to maybe even a quarter of inch of rain in some isolated locations and then we'll see things trend drier and warmer as we head towards your Thursday topping out near 86 degrees chance for some showers and thunderstorms on Friday Saturday trending drier first alert for scattered rain on Sunday so here's a look